Hello, good afternoon. I am Jane Bechtel, celebrant with the Humanist Society Scotland, and today I'm going to demonstrate a couple of different kinds of hand fasting. Um, because it can be a slightly scary idea, even though the symbolism is beautiful, sometimes get couples that are a wee bit worried that it could all go wrong, or families who are worried that maybe they want to be involved, but again, are concerned that they might mess things up. So, very simple in almost all cases. What I'm going to do today is ask my beautiful assistants, Doug and Lucy, who are also colleagues of mine who conduct hand fastings, to please join their right hands together. And I am going to do the first hand fasting, which is one that forms an eternity symbol. Now, this is one that can be um, used to include different family members. So, for example, um, we're going to have a representative of the Johnson family come forward and add their blessings to the marriage with the cord that they are going to present to the family. So, Doug, the Johnson family, welcome you into their team. And now I have to remember your surname. <laughs> and then we're going to have that one representing your family. Lucy, they welcome you into the family. And then we're going to have a final ribbon, or cord in this case, that's going to represent your new lives together as your own family. So these, ribbon, these cords have been laid across. They're pretty much even in length. And these ones, just for information, are two meters long. So it gives us a nice long drape underneath, which is quite attractive. So I'm going to bring all three of those together. It can be nice to use striking and different colors, can give you a lovely effect. I'm going to hold on to the one that's facing me. I'm going to lay the set of three over the top. I'm going to lift it back under, slide it underneath. So we're forming a knot on the very, very top of their hands. They're now going to say their vows while in those positions. I should also say that I would not be standing in between them as they say their vows. I would be taking a, a step out to the side. And then I'm going to ask them to tie their own infinity knot. If you would let separate your hands now, oh, maybe, and <laughs> pull that together, you can see formed there in the middle the infinity symbol. So quite straightforward, she says, hopefully. Can you join your hands again just for a moment? So we're going to run through that very simply. I'm going to do it from the other side so that if you can imagine a family member coming forward, they're going to take hold of the cords in their right hand and not let go of that. So it's going to get lifted over and just swung around, a bit like tying a tie. It's going to get lifted up and slid under the three pieces of cord at the top and laid over the other side. So we simply have the knot sitting on top of their hands, only I've managed to slide it right along her arm here. <laughs> and if you can take hold of your two ends, slide your hands free and tie the infinity knot. Well done, thank you. There we are, we can set that aside. And if you have an arty friend, um, or a family member who can make that into a beautiful piece of knotwork. It can also sit very beautifully in one of those deep kind of box frames that you can get and that can make a, a lovely effect. Nice little keepsake on the wall. Now the next hand fast I'm going to do um, is usually done with fabric rather than with ribbon or with cloth. So I've mocked that up by getting a nice piece of grey wool and a piece of net curtain is the truth but it could it could have been for a sample to match the wedding dress of course if I can ask you to face each other again please Doug and Lucy and maybe step a wee bit closer there we are so that's lovely um, I'm going to take a piece of fabric 
and tuck it in under Doug's thumb there, laying it over the top. And I'm going to take the lace that represents Lucy's family and slide that <laughs> under your neck. It's a piece of beautiful wedding lace, I'll have you know. And tuck that into your finger. thumbs there. So very simply laid over and under their arms. And if you can hold that just gently with your thumbs, and slide your arms apart. This should form a knot that you can then demonstrate to all your guests that you have indeed tied the knot. Thank you very much. Lastly, I'm going to show you a very, very simple hand fasting. Um, and the reason I wanted to include this one, despite its simplicity, is because of all the different ways that you can make this represent yourselves. I have, she says hopefully, miles and miles of different coloured, two different coloured ribbons here. I've seen this done with very dramatic effect in uh, red, gold and green, Rastafarian colours, Jamaican colours. I've seen it done with hundreds of different tartans. I've seen it done with uh, a whole waterfall of white, tiny little bootlace ribbons that just looked stunning as they hung down between the couple's hands. So if you would hold your right hands out for me, just open right hands out and imagine at the moment we've got their wedding rings tucked inside their two hands. Join your two hands together just as if you were shaking hands so quite relaxed and then one of you place a left hand on top and one of you place a left hand underneath. There we are, there we are. The idea is one on top to protect and one below to support and then either myself Bridesmaids, the groomsmaids, the bridesmen, the groomsmen can come forward and each lay a ribbon over the top of their hands. It can be in any number of ways of doing this. It can be anyone at all who comes to join you. And then we can simply tie these ribbons underneath. The first one representing Lucy's Doug. Lucy's love for Doug. And the second one showing Doug's love for Lucy. We'll tell your husband later. And lastly, a ribbon, uh, a knot that's going to represent the new life that they're stepping into together and the love that everyone here has for them, both as individuals and as a couple. This is not one that they tie themselves rather, but one that would be tied by myself or by members of the, the gathering that are with us. And what we ask them to do afterwards is just gently slip, slip their hands out of the knot. And again, you get your crafty friends and neighbours or possibly the florist that did the, did the flowers for your wedding to do a nice little uh, rose type um, craft piece for you to keep after the ceremony. I hope that was helpful. Um, do give us a shout. I'm always very happy to do rehearsals with these. Um, there's a few cafes in Perth that I have spent time in where we get a round of applause from the waitresses when we do a nice hand fasting. So yes, don't feel it has to be a formal rehearsal. Thanks very much. Bye.